Welcome to another cold painting tutorial. Today we're going to be painting a Gatorman Posse member. So he's primed in Minotaur's uh, base gray, and then uh, we're going to start off by painting his underbelly with Minotaur's bark. Now that the belly was uh, base coated, we're going to go in again with uh, Cracked Soil, also by Minotaur, just to lighten it up a little bit. Um, if you think gators um, in real life have uh, varying tones for their underbellies, uh, and that's what we're trying to mimic here. With the underbelly done, we're going to go with Vallejo Air's Black Green along the back. So we're going to be hitting all of the size scales, his face, uh, his legs, the big back armor plating um, that he has, um, uh, and basically anything that we didn't want to be that underbelly tone that we put on initially. With the black green all done, we're going to go in with Vallejo Model Air's Gunship Green instead. A um, bit over to the left in this frame, uh, I'll go more across into the middle in a little bit, just to lighten up that green tone to make it a little bit more, uh, more natural, not quite as dark as what we had before. The next selection that you guys are going to see is me progressively highlighting the uh, gunship green with a pale egg green from Vallejo Air. Basically, I just mix the two together, um, and then every time that you see the uh, pale egg green come back onto the screen, I'm mixing a little bit more into the, the mix just to, to brighten it up that much more. So we'll give the green a wash here with Athonian Camo Shade by Games Workshop. It's their weird brownish greenish color. Um, remember, like a straight green like BL10 green or any other kind of wash you would have would be too too vibrant in my mind. I want to keep it back down to the natural tones, and alligators naturally have a lot of browns and uh, and reds in their uh, scales. So what this is going to do is just knock down that pale green just to make it be a little bit more realistic. And then when we do the back armor plating, we'll make it a little bit more fantasy again by adding in some other tones.
more definition out of those underbelly scales. Uh, we're just going to be able to quick hit with Seraphim Sepia, also from Games Workshop's uh, Wash series. So I wanted the back scales to look almost black, but you shouldn't paint black things black because um, it's really hard to shade and get additional colors in there, so um, my favorite go-to color in this case is uh, Vallejo's model color, uh, German Grey. I'm basically going to go across the entire back of the, the gator here with that color. In order to highlight the colors, I added in a little bit of Vallejo Game Color Verdigris. It's a really pale green color. Um, Verdigris in itself is that weird bluish greenish tinge that you can see on um, some metals as they age. Um, so what's going to happen here is going to go along the outside of the scales and the high parts where I see more, more wear and tear happening on them. Um, and then whenever you see the Verdigris come back on the screen, I'm just going to be adding more of that into the mix in order to get the final highlight. That was a little bit more for a degree for an additional highlight. Bye. And then even more for a last highlight. I'm just trying to be a little bit more specific here. Uh, you see a little bit of a finer brush, just trying to do individual lines um, to bring about uh, different pieces of the scale. Um, depending on the model, uh, if you guys are doing other, other natural pieces, uh, it can be easier to paint on based upon like, the actual casting of it. Uh, I know there's like, pros and cons for our privateer prices stuff. Uh, I'm a big fan, but um, not always the, the most efficient details that you can
So this is where things are going to get a little bit more fantasy-like. Uh, I'm going to grab a purple wash and give that uh, the back scales um, uh, a coat. It's not going to be like a general coat like you could see going across an entire miniature. I'm specifically painting in um, the joins between each one of the cracks and then in the deep recesses that we didn't hit with all of the uh, highlights that we were just doing. Just to create um, something a little bit more fantasy-like. Um, like I said before in previous videos, I like throwing in random colors into uh, shades just to make them all look more interesting. And here, we're going to go back in with that same purple wash, but instead of focusing primarily on the back scales, we're going to be doing uh, small streaky patterns along the side of the gator, um, just to create uh, a bit of a, of a pattern uh, and color transition between the harder scales and what you'd see on uh, the side, almost belly-ish pieces of him. Uh, I've done this before on a GW Bastilladon using different colors, and it turned out really well. Um, the darker greens here didn't quite pop the way that I wanted to. It still looked cool, but not quite the way that I was hoping. With the main gator done, uh, it's time to go on to his weapon, uh, so we're going to grab black and then black out any of the metal areas that are going to be uh, metallics because it's much nicer to paint on black. Uh, as well, in this case, I'm going to go over his uh, teeth and jawline just to be able to get good definition for his mouth, uh, as well as his eyes. going to use Adverland Sunset, which is a GW um, base color. Uh, it's a very, very opaque yellow. Love it um, because I just wanted to do uh, a nice easier coat for his eyes. Um, instead of doing like multiple, multiple layers, it's just a nice, good, solid base coat for that. I'm 
gonna use bleach bone or uh, I think it's called Ushapti bone now from the DW range for just picking out his teeth. Um, yep. And a bit of my head gets in the shot for putting on the slitty pupils for a lizard. Going through with uh, silver, um, any kind of darker tone that you want for his uh, spearhead, and then for the, I guess, pommel or other end of the uh, spear that he's got. But... coated the spear shaft in uh, Vallejo Game Color Dark Flesh, uh, and then added in some of that Ushapti bone for the highlight that you're seeing here. Um, trying to stick along with the wood grains. Um, if there isn't any, just try to, to fake it. Um, nice horizontal lines just to make it look like it was kind of like a, um, a broom handle. Going in here with pure Ushapti bone, um, just for the, the leather wrapping or the, the cloth wrapping that keeps the spear blade attached to the shaft. Gonna hit the whole weapon series there with uh, a wash of uh, Ivrax Earthshade or Devil Mud or whatever darker brown tone that you want to use, um, just to get a little bit of grime onto the weapon blade as well as definitions out of the rest of the weapon. base is going to be painted in model color beige. Um, two quick coats will be enough for this. Um, the stamp that I used was Board Games Bakery Imperialis. 
apologies that the the hands in the way here, but really you're just you're just painting onto the the base of the model. It's nothing nothing too too special. And this is where the fun is going to begin. Um, taking secret weapons terracotta earth, uh, mix it with water uh, and a little Tupperware, and we're basically going to give it a nice solid wash uh, across the base. Um, feel free to get up into his feet. Um, don't feel too too focused on keeping things clean here. Uh, best part about pigments is that you can clean it up afterwards. So it's giving a nice solid wash across. Um, I was going for kind of a desertish theme. I was thinking that these guys would be part of a, a scorn army um, because they love getting rid. Uh, the same rules are going to apply here. We're just going to grab Rust Red and then start applying it to the uh, weapon blade in random spots wherever I think that it should be all, all rusty and corroded. And now that the pigments are dry, I'm just going to use either water or honestly saliva and a cotton bud just to move around some of these pigments. Um, fade them in and out, make it a little bit easier to, to look at, a little bit more natural looking. So we're going to do that for the blade, um, getting right into all the nooks and crannies of it. And then you can also do that for the base. Uh, because the base is textured, um, the, wa uh, the, the wash that we made out of the pigments will all go naturally into the recesses um, while picking it up off of all the lighter areas, making it look very, very dusty and cragged and awesome. Thanks for watching, uh, here's a last picture of our Gatorman friend, uh, please like and subscribe to the channel, and comment on the next kind of things that you'd want to see uh, me paint up and put up as a video tutorial. Uh, it can be anything from full miniatures to specific techniques, just let me know and I'm looking to hit what the audience and community is really looking for. Thanks a lot and have a great day. Bye.